Frank Scott here with you until 10 o'clock, and uh, joining me in the studio right now is uh, Joycelyn Griffo, and she's with the Louis Bluey Music and Arts Festival. And uh, Joycelyn, congratulations on this perfect forecast you've got coming uh, for this year's event. Uh, good morning to you. Good morning, Frank. Uh, we were talking uh, during the news break about how what a great decision it was for you guys to decide to move uh, the Louis Bluey Festival now in its fifth year. Fifth year. Yeah, to move it from midsummer, early summer to uh, October, and boy, is it paying off. It certainly is, and we're, th- we're really excited about it. I want to take an opportunity also to thank you, Frank, and also uh, Q Country for having us on because uh, we um, uh, very much appreciate that uh, you're a media sponsor for our festival and also that you help us get the word out to the public about what's going to happen there. Thank you. And so, yeah, we're really excited about it, too. Um, I think we're going to have a lot of hot cider and a lot of hot cho- uh, coffee on the grounds. Right. And uh, if it's a little bit on the chilly side early in the morning, you can warm up that way. But we've got a lot of exciting things planned this year. Uh, now, you were, again, we were talking uh, during the break about uh, the many uh, musical acts you have, you have coming again this year. But uh, really, the festival is a lot more than just music. It is definitely a lot more about music. It's uh, The title is Music and Arts, and in the arts side of it, we have uh, the art and quilt judge competitions. We have the Arts and Crafts Village. This year, we have 66 vendors that will be in the uh, festival selling their handcrafted wares, and uh, we have an exciting kids zone this time. Mm-hmm. We always have had a kids zone because we like to say that this festival is a family-friendly festival, right. and this year, our kids zone is even bigger and better than it's ever been we're going to have four of those inflatable bouncy houses oh wear them out (laughs) wear them out we're going to have a big tent with tables and chairs for them to come in and do art projects and then that's another part of the arts side we want to encourage the children in their arts activities we're going to have a display of flags with art on them by children in the after school program at the la follette middle school and all other kinds we're going to have a stage there and there's going to be storytellers for children there's going to be musicians and they're going to have a big children's parade mm-hmm. at about one o'clock in the afternoon and this is for just i mean just for the kids just to have fun we're going to have musicians leading it they're going to wind all through the festival grounds just having a great old time so we really really like the fact that you can come with your children this is you know, children are so welcome. Sure. Now, just the basics here. We should tell everybody, of course, this is happening uh, Saturday at Cove Lake State Park in Carryville. And if you're listening uh, outside the Campbell County area, that's uh, just off I-75 uh, here in Campbell County, exit 134. Uh, festival begins at 10 a.m. Saturday morning, and there's no admission charge, but uh, you are asking for donations if possible, correct? Absolutely. It helps us to pay for the festival mm-hmm. because in order to keep it a free festival, we get grants from the Tennessee Art Commission and other uh, t- uh, pub, you know, uh, granting uh, mm-hmm. monies as well as business sponsorships. And uh, it just gets harder every year because of the right. economic crisis. So we're asking the public to show a little bit of support, too, by making contributions if they can. All right. If they can't, that's okay, too. Uh, I assume everybody should come hungry. Everybody should come hungry. We've got some really, really good regional food vendors on the grounds, and it'll be colder air, so your appetite's going to be up, and it'll probably smell really, really good, so bring sure. a good appetite. And uh, we're going to invite people to come and jam on the grounds. Mm-hmm. Grounds. If you're a musician, you play an instrument, bring yourself or your group of friends, just pick a spot. As long as you're not near one of the stages and interfering with the sound there, you can play your instruments. Right. A little history now. We've talked about it before, but uh, let's refresh everybody's memory. The inspiration behind this whole festival, uh, Louis himself. Absolutely. Howard Armstrong. Howard Armstrong. The reason we have this festival dedicated to a celebration of his life is that he was such an interesting person in terms of music and art. Mm-hmm. He was, you know, played, we said it a hundred times, 22 instruments. Uh, he spoke seven foreign languages. Impressive. He painted his entire life, and he often said that when the music didn't pay, the art did. And that's the reason we celebrate this uh, wonderful a re- man. A real source of pride for our area. Absolutely. He always credited this area as being his main influence as he was growing up. Now, the festival itself is on uh, Saturday, but Friday night, there's kind of a pre-festival event that is quite popular, the Sounds Like Home concert, and uh, last year, a big crowd turned out, and I assume uh, this Friday night, you're going to expect another one. We're expecting another big crowd. Uh, We had such a tremendous feedback from last year, and so we're going to do the very same thing again this year, only we're adding 
uh, Dale Ann Bradley to the uh, performing lineup, and she's the International Bluegrass Music Association Vocalist of the Year three years in a row. She's a good friend of Steve and Don Gully, and mm-hmm. so she will be coming out to join them on the stage. And she's also bringing some of her students from one of her workshops, and they will be doing uh, a little discussion or a little uh, demonstration before the main concert begins, uh, starting at 515. They will right. be talking about uh, the, the origins of bluegrass and the, and the instruments behind it and, and how these young people are picking up on this genre of music and will carry it forward to the next generation. We should- to tell people uh, tickets are ten dollars in advance for the sounds like home concert this friday night at cove lake state park twelve dollars at the door uh, you can buy tickets right now at the campbell county chamber of commerce in jacksboro all locations all campbell county locations of people's bank of the south hampton inn in carryville rickard ridge restaurant at cove lake state park uh, powell clinch utilities in la follette and lake city and also first volunteer bank all campbell county locations and again the website is louiebluey.org it's l o u i e b l u i e dot org, and uh, again, uh, people can get more information on the website as well about tickets uh, for that event. Uh, expecting another big crowd. Absolutely, yeah, we're we're probably expecting around three hundred or more. Great. So if you're coming, try to get there uh, on time. If you uh, we run out of seating, you'll have to be sitting on your own blanket or chair. Right. You mentioned uh, Dale Ann Bradley and uh, Steve and Don Gully, but you've also got Grass Town and the Pinnacle Mountain Boys. And those of you who listen to a uh, Chuck on Sop and the Gravy on Saturday mornings are well familiar with those acts, so it should be a great show. Absolutely, and we really, really appreciate the folks turning out because what I think uh, really struck a note with everyone is that uh, so many of the people that are part of all of this came out of this area, just like Howard Armstrong. Well, Joyce Lynn Griffo, we appreciate you coming in this morning. We appreciate all that you do putting this festival together every year, you and uh, all those uh, organizing it every year. Uh, The fifth annual Louie Bluey Music and Arts Festival happening this Saturday, Cove Lake State Park, October 1st, beginning at 10 a.m. And the night before, you've got the Sounds Like Home, a night of music from the Cumberland's uh, concert at the State Park. And uh, those tickets are $10.00. But again, the yes, and to help them out with a few bucks there. Okay, uh, Joycelyn, again, thank you for coming in this morning. Thank you for having me. Anytime. All right. Again, the website is louiebluey.org for more information, maybe ticket information as well. Go check it out. Seven eighteen right now. And by the way, there's no Cougar game tomorrow night, so uh, no excuse not to go to the show. <laughs>